Google Next 2023. So I know, Will, you you had um, you had something you wanted to talk about on this. I'll, if I, if you don't mind, I'll t- again, I'll take 30 seconds and just yeah. do my quick impression. Set it up for me, man. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so here's here's what uh, I found interesting about Google 20 or Google Next 2023. Um, Interesting might be the wrong. No, it was interesting for sure. I don't mean that in a, in a negative, but um, you know, they, there are a whole lot of announcements, just like VMware Explore, Discover, yeah. Tech World. I mean, they all have just so many announcements. Hard to sift through everything, but what stood out to me was Google's push into the enterprise. So um, what I saw was distributed cloud, an announcement they made around distributed cloud, bringing AI bringing, uh, you're going to talk about distributed networking, down into the net, yeah. down into the enterprise yeah. um, in a consumable way by, from, from for the IT organization. Uh, much like uh, AWS in, AWS has done, Azure has done with Azure Stack, and Google has done previously with Anthos. Um, pre-configured hardware software solution stacks that you can deploy, stand up quickly, and get to value as fast as possible. I think it's a great story. I'm kind of curious to see how this uh, stands relative to what HPE is doing with GreenLake, what Dell is doing with Apex, what Lenovo is doing with TrueScale, because each one of these server vendors seems to have a lot of velocity um, behind what they're doing. We just talked about HPE's numbers. Dell's are just very impressive with Apex, and Lenovo has shown a lot of growth with, with TrueScale. So. I'll be curious, and, and and Google's been at this for a bit. Uh, Anthos was announced, I think, two years ago. It was a partnership with HPE. I don't have a lot of detail around what these platforms are that Google's putting inside of the enterprise data center, which makes me wonder kind of, you know, what that looks like. Is it a super micro box? Is it even yeah. something, you know, who knows, right? So I want to hear more details. I love the, I love the idea. I love the connectivity up to the cloud. Um, or to the clouds. I think that's a great story as well. Um, but, you know, I'd love to love to learn a little bit more. And I know that leads directly into connectivity, what you want to hit on, uh, Will, which is the networking side. Yeah, you know, I'm going to hit on networking. I'm going to talk a little bit about security. So, you know, it, th- there's no doubt that, you know, that Google is sort of, you know, trying to play catch up with its two main competitors that you just mentioned. And so for me, sort of when I when I kind of stood back after the event, I sort of looked at the payload. Um, there was a there was a little bit on networking. And there was a lot on security. And, you know, the, the 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 lot on security is not surprising, just given, you know, present day and, you know, what what organizations are are battling. And in fact, I'm I'm beginning to draft a Forbes article where I'm going to do a roundup and I'm going to I'm going to talk about cloud security. And I'm not going to call a winner, but I'm going to I'm going to feature Google, AWS, and Azure, kind of talk about strengths and weaknesses and, and where I think they're playing. But let me touch on networking. So, um, and I've got some notes here, so I'm going to look down for a moment. But Google announced um, its cross-cloud network, and what cross-cloud network aims to do is tie multi-cloud and on-premise domain connectivity together to simplify it. Um, it's also integrating security and a pretty rich partner ecosystem. And we were talking about how important partner ecosystems are with, um, with uh, the discussion around Intel. Um, but this is going to support things like distributed application development, emerging AI workloads, surprise, surprise, and hybrid work support, you know, given just the nature of, of modern work. So on the surface, uh, to your point, Matt, I agree. It's compelling. Um, Google's a little bit late to the party from my perspective, especially when you look at, again, what, what AWS and Azure have done. And then even, you know, some of the things that we saw come out of uh, VMware Explorer as well, right? But yeah. again, competition breeds innovation. So I think this is strong. And to your point, Matt, um, I think this better positions Google in the enterprise yeah. and for data center market share than it ever has. So that's yeah. just my, my two cents. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you on the uh, I agree with you on the playing catch up, and I agree on both parts. Right, the they are definitely playing catch up. I think, but I think they're they're going about it smartly. And and one thing I have to say for Google uh, and GCP is I like the patience they're displaying. Right, um, you know they're de- they're they're announcing these services, deploying these services, and by the way, they do a lot of silicon work themselves around yeah. security. They've done their own security chip. They've done their own accelerators. Um, and um, 
you know, they're, they're playing the long game and they understand this isn't about what next quarter delivers. It's about what, you know, five years from now, when clouds are really interconnected, you know, who stands tall. So I kind of yeah. like that one. Well, that's oh. been NVIDIA's playbook too, right? I mean, Jensen, you know, he <laughs> he made investments that didn't pay off for, you know, nearly a decade, right? And, and look where NVIDIA is today. So yeah, the long the long ball, the long game, you know, does pay dividends if you're willing to to endure it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leather jackets and uh, black turtlenecks, that's how it <laughs> yeah. goes. Uh, yeah. um, all right. right. Oh, go ahead, Paul. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I gotta say, if the guys hadn't uh, come along with ImageNet and figured out that you could use uh, GPUs, um, NVIDIA would still be a uh, computer graphics company, period. And a gaming company, right? Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. That's a good point. 